In this video, we're going to continue working on this Arbor Press assembly, and in particular, we're going to create this exploded view assembly drawing. Start off by opening your assembly. We're going to create a new presentation. Open up the same assembly. We're going to minimize this ribbon to give us a little bit more space. If you select this icon here, select it twice and it minimizes the ribbon. If this storyboard is taking up too much room, you could minimize it by selecting this collapse storyboard icon. I'm going to select this plate and this pin. Hold the shift key down, select both of them together. Right mouse button, tweak components. We're going to go, let's do that again, select the plate and the pin. Select this arrow, pull up and enter one. Enter. Select them both again. The right mouse button, tweak components, and we're going to come in this direction and enter a minus six. Enter. Now we're going to select just the pin. Tweak it. and select 2.3, enter. I'm going to select this part, the arm, hold the shift key down, the two caps, and the thumb screw, right mouse button, tweak components. We're going to select this direction. and enter 9.7, enter. Select the thumb screw, right mouse button, tweak components, come out in this direction, and enter 1.5. Select the cap, tweak components, and zoom in, and let's choose a location. Select the end of the cap, select the end of the arm, and pull up, and let's make that 1.4. Select this cap, tweak it, Select the location, and let's select the end of the arm, like that, and then pull it out, and make that 1.4 also. Let's select this plate. Hold your shift key down and select all these screws on, on the same plate. Right mouse button, tweak components. And let's select this direction. And let's go out of minus four. Select these four screws. Hold the shift key down. Tweak, select this direction, make that a, a minus 3.7, select these two screws. Tweak, select this direction, and make this 1.8, a minus 1.8. 
select this plate, right mouse button tweak, and make this a minus 2. Select these components, including the set screw, and right mouse button, tweak components. And let's make this a minus 2.5. Select the collar and the set screw. Right mouse button tweak. And make this a minus 1.5. Save it. Create a new drawing. Open up your ribbon again. Create a base view. Change the scale to 0.75. Reposition your view, select Annotate, and Parts List, select OK, and place your Parts List right there. Let's edit your Parts List, right mouse button, Edit Parts List, select this icon, Column Chooser, and let's remove the part number. Resize the columns. And reposition. And let's move the assembly just a little bit further away from the right about there. Leave yourself some space right here. Select balloon. Right mouse button continue. Right mouse button continue.
Go back to Place Views, and we're going to place a, a new view. And we're going to put an assembly drawing up here. So we're going to search for it. And let's locate your assembly. And we're going to place it right here. And I want to look at the opposite view because in this view, I cannot see it. So I'm going to uh, turn it around so I could see this particular detail here. And let's change the scale to 0.5. And I inadvertently placed two views. I'm going to delete this view here. And I want to make this shaded. I'm going to move the view into a little bit further into the corner. Select the view again and turn on shaded. So this is not typical, but I can't see this far face, so I rotated it so I can see what's going on right there for clarity. I'm going to select in the browser this part, hover over it, right, right mouse button, eye properties. Go to Summary and change the title, all caps, to Arbor Press Assembly and set this to your name. Change this to your name. Save the drawing. Go to File export to PDF and submit the PDF to Canvas to complete your assignment.